Hi friends, in today's video I want to address two subjects that have recently been kind of blowing up here on the mature beauty community and one of them is that for some reason YouTube is not putting our videos out there, especially content creators that have more subscribers. And the other thing is sponsored videos. I want to address that too. So let's first talk about what's happening with YouTube and why the thumbnail. I have been on YouTube for nine years as a beauty content creator, lifestyle content content creator, and I have over 700 videos. But in making all of those videos and working so hard through the years, all of a sudden, and I've heard this from a lot of creators, YouTube is no longer putting out our videos to our subscriber base and it's no longer putting it out to new people that it might be relevant to. There's potential for real growth on YouTube, but for some reason, short form content is being pushed and long form, form content, which is what I've always created, videos of approximately 10 minutes up to 30 minutes are just not being pushed out. And I realize that that's kind of where the public is at. But even the people that want that have been giving us feedback that no, they're not seeing our videos come out even when they're subscribed to us. No, they're not seeing our videos come up when they have the notification bell on. So something's going on with the YouTube algorithm and basically my channel has gone from having thousands of views on each video to now getting a maybe a thousand. And that's pretty darn scary when you have built a nine year career or a nine year business and it was doing really good and helping your family financially and all of a sudden it's gone. And so I'm trying to figure out what I can do to revamp that. I'm going to give my channel another six months. Otherwise, like I said very recently in a post, I might have to put down the camera and go find a nine to five job, which you know, at my age, it's not something I want to do because this is where I have fun. This is my passion. This is what I love to do. I have prided myself through these years of bringing you my honest thoughts and my honest content, and I'm not going to change that at all, which brings me over to the second category or second topic that I want to talk about, which is sponsored videos. And you have seen me do three sponsored videos in the last three weeks. And the time of year that it is right now with the holidays and people wanting their brands out there, it just so happens that three different brands approached me and they needed their videos put up within three weeks of each other. That was their timeline, not mine. Being that my channel has tanked, I said in that recent post that I barely make what is minimum wage and minimum wage is in my state $7.25 an hour, but I wasn't taking into account even all of the other things that go along with what I do. Not just thinking up ideas, recording and editing, but you also have to research and you have to buy product and you have to test product. So I probably am not even making that, but that's beside the point. I could not pass up helping my family with a little bit of extra income and in getting three sponsorships. And yes, they were back to back. And yes, they are my lowest view count of any videos I've had in a very long time. Not only that, but I'll tell you something else. If you are somebody that doesn't like sponsored content at all, and you click off of it as soon as you see that come up on the screen, I'll tell you what that does to your content creator. And if it's somebody that you love, you may think about not doing this. Somebody that you really like to watch, not love necessarily. Maybe you do love them, but if I'll tell you what it does to their content. When you go into a video and in the first 30 seconds you see that it's sponsored and you just click out, what happens is the YouTube algorithm goes, this video is not relevant and this video is not going to be shown to anybody else. And they just completely cut us off. So my suggestion to you is if you really love that content creator and you love everything else they do, but you are not somebody that enjoys a sponsored video, if you could just let that play turn the sound down and just let it play. Even if you want to speed it up, if you could just let it play clear through to the end, that's going to help your content creator and it's going to help that video be seen by others. And it's not going to ding their future videos, which is what happens. If a video gets clicked off of in the first 30 seconds or so, the YouTube algorithm tells the whole entire big bunch of everything that that video is not relevant and the next video probably won't be either. So really that can kind of be what's happening 
And I understand if you don't like sponsored content, I totally get it. There are so many bad apples out there that give sponsored content just because they're getting the big bucks. Well, I can tell you right now, I don't get the big bucks from it, but it does help my family out a little bit. And so I'm going to take those. Now, am I planning on taking one a week? Absolutely not. I don't get approached that often to be able to give you one once a week. It just doesn't happen. And so I just wanted to make sure that you understood that sponsored content to you, it's free. Um, any content that we put out and you watch on YouTube, it's free. To us, it can mean our livelihood. It can mean our jobs. It really does come down to if you're making this your career, which is what I finally did after being on here for five years, then the last four years, it's been my career. But if, it, if that happens, then you're tanking your career, basically. And so it's hard to be, make that balance. And so many of you have been so supportive when I put that post up about be, things being sponsored and you were so supportive and you were just overwhelmingly loving to me. And um, even the gal that made the the comment that I made the post around, I felt like she was very respectful and I didn't want anybody to come for her. She was just giving her opinion and she did it in a very respectful way. And I appreciate that more than anything. And that comes to my third point, which is when you're respectful and when you tell me what you like and what you don't like, I'm going to listen. And believe it or not, when I hear from you guys, if it's about a product, if it's about something you're not liking that I'm doing, anything like that, I'm going to take in your views into consideration, what you're thinking into consideration, and I'm going to try and incorporate that in my channel. I do Amazon videos, I do reviews. I'm gonna try and make sure that those are still in there because what the money that I do make comes from affiliates. When you guys purchase through any of the links that I have on there, or you know, YouTube now has affiliate links that you can purchase through. I make money through that, but I'm going to throw in there also some very relevant content about the mature woman, about menopause, about our lifestyle, about exercise, about fashion, um, some different things I'm going to put out there and try to see how you guys feel about them and how you like them, which brings me to the last thing, which is I need your feedback. I need to know what you guys are wanting to hear about, what you love to hear about. I know that the two videos that always get me the most views are dupes videos and drugstore videos. And I'm going to continue to push those out, but there is a lot of makeup that's high end, that's beautiful makeup. And we're coming into a season when we can buy a lot of it on sale. So I'm going to continue to interchange and mix as much as I can. But I want to hear from you what you think is relevant in our day and age. Is it saving money mostly because of the economy and how crappy it is? Is it that you want to know about menopausal skin? Is it what that you want to know about how I'm dealing with menopause, how I'm dealing with illness? A lot of you know that I have had in the past year, I've had four surgeries. I moved my mother in, she's 89 years old. I moved her in here with me. My husband has had some challenges. I have a disabled son that lives with me. I have a lot of challenges in my life as well, not to mention everything that's going on with a business as well. So I just wanted to get on here, bottom line, tell you how much I appreciate and love you and fingers crossed that we don't have to, that I don't have to shut this channel down after six months because I'm going to give it everything in the next six months. See if YouTube turns around. I know that there are some of my fellow creators that are feeling just as frustrated and I'm going to do a few shorts in there. I know that YouTube is wanting us to push shorts, which I have a hard time with because I have a hard time saying what I want to say in 30 to 60 seconds. I like to talk. Oh, by the way, two things that are going to change. I am not going to be showing you the outfit that I have on at the beginning of the video. YouTube feels like that's not relevant to what my subscribers are wanting or what other people are wanting. And so they're dropping my video at that point as well. And so it will always be down in the comment or down in the description box and it'll be linked, but I'm not going to talk about that anymore and take the time up of that. I'm not going to ask people to subscribe. I'm not going to take the time to say a big, huge welcome at the beginning. And I'm not going to any longer put jokes at the end. Those are no longer going to go up at all. I'll probably start putting a lot of those on Instagram. So you might want to subscribe over there if you want to continue to see the jokes. I just want you all to know that I deeply love your support and that you guys are the heart and soul of my channel. And I don't want to continue to go down and down and down and dive so far that I have to go away and do something else for 
a job, but that may happen down the road. Um, Angie Hot and Flashy just posted this same video about how things are not progressing for her either. So I know if somebody that has one point, what, one million subscribers that it's happening across the board. So we need to find a way to trick the YouTube algorithm and get our butts in gear. So that's what I'm gonna do. And take a peek at this video right here. This is my last video about dupes. And if you didn't get a chance to see it, click right there and go over and see all of those dupes. And I'll have another dupe video up for you very soon. Love you much. Bye-bye.